Hi, Aki Dad here, a video blogger for older fathers. And what older father doesn't like? Flashlights, lots of flashlights. Excuse the children, older father, children. You may even hear the bass of, oh my Lord Jesus. Right. Ah. You may hear the bass of my son, Star Trek novel, Two Through the Wall. So, in Brattleboro, there's a company that makes this cool flashlight that says that it accentuates colors. It doesn't just brighten up the night. And they sent it to me. Ironically, I'm red, green, colorblind. Like 9% approximately of American men, I have trouble with colors. Not just red and green, shades of non-primary colors. Dark green can be black at night. Yellow can look like green but I see all the primaries. So what will this look like to me? I will show you some videos you can choose for yourself. Of course, videos of a flashlight are not gonna be what you see, it's what the camera has seen. So I don't know what your eyes are gonna pick up with this flashlight. I'm gonna compare it with a cheap Chinese $7 tactical flashlight, rechargeable. This is a big flashlight, rechargeable. I think this can, you know, this can power up charge up a phone because it has both an in and an out USB. I don't know how full it would get the phone. Both are the uh, general configuration of metal, zoom, big glass elements. All right, so I'm going to go outside. I found some colorful pool noodles and pool stuff out at night, and I'm not color correcting the video. I'm just going to test it out. Now, of course, Comparing these is not flashlight to flashlight and lumen to lumen. I couldn't even find the lumens on this because it's not sold anymore, although the very same one is sold in a billion Chinese companies. But I'm going to put this on high and this on low, and it's about equal, low or medium, I think. But this is just the first test. Uh, I would have to get a flashlight with its full lumens here to be, I guess, mono e mono. Now, before I do that, I want to just take a look at the packaging. That's okay. I can't believe uh, this company's in, in Brattleboro, where I live. Uh, fine packaging. I did notice the print is kind of low, uh, a little bit low resolution. And I think for this product, especially since they're accentuating colors, you want some really deep colored printing here. Minor, but you know how, how these things are. Comes with a nice case-ish, sort of nice. Yeah, big snap, little Velcro around it. The kind of case that just folds it. Comes with a, actually quite a thick cable, not your average super cheap cable. This one is thick and supple. Another box inside. The flashlight itself though, let's get to testing with our little one. And here we go. Now I'm red, green, colorblind. So those look very colorful to me. Yellow, or is it green, blue, and red? That's the thing with red, green, colorblindness. I can see, ironically, the red and the blue and that green is green, but it could be yellow. And I think that's a green. Okay, so this is the optics. Whoa, on full zoom it does say that on the edges it's different it's for luminosity and then the center is for color this is the regular tactical small flashlight on high let's see ready Okay, that edge is the same as the center. And this is the optics, ready? Non-color actuating, accentuating flashlight, optics. Optics on high is of course much more than the little flashlight, big flashlight. That seems to bounce the colors more. Really does. 
even to me, especially the red and the blue. Now let's look far off into a tree. This is the optics on wide. And zooming in, you can tell it has four elements. And this is the small flashlight on wide. And zooming in, optics. Let's go to low though, make it fair. Small flashlight, optics. Small flashlight, optics. Optics on high, medium. Maybe medium is better comparison to the little flashlight. Optics. Yeah, what else could we? Wood. Let's see. Optics. Little flashlight. Optics. Little flashlight. Optics. Now let's try a refrigerator test. I just made that up. Who knows? Let's see, there's some better colors. Okay, optics on high. Medium, low, and the little flashlight. Optics. Little flashlight, optics, little flashlight, optics. Now let's try the puffins test. I just made that up too. Let's see, optics. Regular little flashlight, optics, regular little flashlight. But if we zoomed in the little flashlight on the right and the optics on the left, optics on the left, little flashlight over here. Hmm. Not sure, let's switch them. So I should say this is about an $80 flashlight and I haven't tested a lot of $80 flashlights, but with a big battery, waterproof, even if it didn't do the color thing, I think it might be worth it, but uh, I'm not one to say not having bought a lot of $80 flashlights. Uh, I think you'd have to test it yourself. Now the documentation, if you're a Star Trek fan, you'll love this documentation. There are a lot of big words in here about what this flashlight does to bring the color out at night. I won't read them all to you because I don't know what all of them mean. Uh, but as far as feedback goes, again, I would bet this on a little heavier paper with a little deeper color and a little, um, a little better images. You know, not quite as dark and deeper and a little better than that. Maybe a schematic. It's weird, looking in there, I do see something along the crosshairs there. And it's like a little bit of material. Maybe it's the coating they're talking about in the very center, but it isn't perfectly round. Which maybe isn't a problem, but I can notice it. I also noticed the power switch is angled a little bit over to the right there. Otherwise, this feels fine. This feels good and heavy, like it should. And it looks like it's the waterproof it says it is, and everything. This cable is a nice quality. It's very detailed about what this is doing, which I like, laying it all out there. And I really appreciate the chance to review this. I do think I saw more color with this. I'm not exactly sure if I need more color at night, but I think there's a lot of applications where you would, especially if you have great color vision. 
I don't use a lot of color at night because I'm not that good at color vision. But I'd say, awesome. And I'm going to see how my wife likes it and I'm going to keep using it. So maybe give it a shot.